creative friends welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be so much fun so i i got to show you the ingredients it's so simple like cool whip cake mix powdered sugar that's it but here's the thing i have seen this video i've seen this it's like a viral thing right now on tiktok and stuff like that it's just cookies that you make with cool whip a cake mix and powdered sugar I have an event to go to tomorrow. I've seen this and I thought, oh, I don't know about that. Then I saw someone that I really trust, their recipes. I've tried a number of them and they're really good. And I thought, okay, that's probably fine then. So I got the stuff. And then I got to thinking about it. This seems really familiar. I feel like I know about this recipe. And lo and behold, in my mom's cookbook, there's a recipe for chocolate whips. The chocolate whip cookies. It's this with chocolate cake mix so fun anyway so apparently my mom my grandma these people were onto this way before this became a viral thing on tiktok and shorts and whatever but i'm gonna make it so let me show you the ingredients that i have and i'll explain why mine are a little bit different than my mom's okay so mom's chocolate whips call for the cool whip and a chocolate cake mix and that's what you would use to have basically they remind me of chocolate cookies that are crackle you know the crackle cookies that are really cool looking anyway so she did it this way but then what i saw was people using all different kind of cake mixes so instead of making chocolate ones which i probably still will because i'm sure they're fantastic i'm going to do because I have an event tomorrow and it's Christmassy time. These are a Christmas party for my food preserving group. And so I'm going to do two of them. But I got white cake mix. Because I'm going to do two batches. And I also got some gel food coloring. Because I have some food coloring but I wanted to use the gel. Because I'm going to make one of them red and one of them green. So they're going to be like a red and green crackle cookie. Um, so I've got, I'm going to start with one, one start. And what this is is simply taking I'm gonna get I'm gonna get another bowl out because I have to put powdered sugar in it so I'll be right back okay here we go I got my little uh, Pyrex measuring cup with some powdered sugar in it because basically you're gonna take these two and you're gonna mix them together and this becomes really thick so I've got my blender out and then I'm also gonna add a little bit of food coloring once I get it kind of mixed then I will uh, as I'm doing it I'll work in some of the food coloring so I'm going to use the gel. And you could use the strawberry cake mix. You can use chocolate. You could use yellow. It doesn't matter. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the Cool Whip first. I am excited about this. And it was so funny when I got to think and I thought, you know, I've gone through all my mom's recipes and that sounds really familiar to me. And then I found her little chocolate whips recipe. I must have read it at some point and thought, Cool Whip and cake mix, that sounds crazy. But I'm excited about it. So we'll see how they taste because I never made my mom's chocolate whips okay now and then what happens is when you get this to where it's a good uh, like doughy almost batter kind of thing then you scoop it out and I have my little my little scooper and I'm gonna scoop it out and then you drop it in here and you put it on your baking sheet and I have my big baking sheet because I want to do them all at once. I have a bunch to do today. I'm, I'm cooking. Cooking in my kitchen a lot. Alright. I love doing stuff like this. I think it's cool. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. And if you do it by hand, apparently it gets real thick. Oh, and by the way, the oven is turned on to 350 because this is going to cook for 12 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep going around. I know you guys are probably just as busy at the holiday time than I am. So I'm going to I'm going to keep mixing this until it's the right consistency and I'll add that red food coloring so that I can get this red. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is taking a while, so this is going to be, <laughs> this is going to be quite, it's very thick, 
and it's actually kind of hard to, uh, it's going to take some arm muscles, we'll just say that. So I'm going to keep working this, and I will be back once I have some good food coloring worked in, and once it's nicely all mixed together. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. It's like the consistency of Play-Doh, really, is kind of what it reminds me of. So, uh, hang on, let me get it off. Okay, anyway, it is like like play-doh okay so now i've got this done let me get it off. i had to get to a wooden spoon because my spatula wasn't strong enough so i don't think I, my little hand mixer would not work but you could probably do this in a KitchenAid with like a dough hook i mean that's what we would have to be doing here like bread dough okay okay so now let me ah okay now i'm going to take my little scooper and I'm going to scoop out one of these, and I'm going to drop it in there in the powdered sugar and mix it around. And if it is, um, I know I, I saw some people say if you put it in the fridge, it'll be easier to, um, you know, to roll up. It won't be as sticky, but honestly, I think it's fine. Okay, so now there's that. Got the cookie done. Now, let me do a couple more. And so when I do the green one, it's going to be cool. And then you know what you could also do? You could do green and make like Grinch cookies or whatever. So let me do a couple more for you and then I'll finish the batch. We'll see how many they make. Of course, you could use the ice cream scooper and make a great big one. Great big cookies if you want, but I'm not going to. I told Vi I was making these. She wants me to bring them up to her. So I'll bring her a couple and then I'll take a couple to my meeting. My, it's a party, really. It's our annual Christmas party thing. A lot of fun. Fun times. Always the best. Okay, so these, when they bake out, they're going to look like crackle cookies. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got 12 done. I still have probably enough for maybe six or eight more. Um, but I've got the bigger size scoop, so I'm going to make enough room because I don't know how much they're going to spread when they cook. So now I'm going to pop, pop them in the 350 degree oven for 12 minutes. When I bring them out, I'm going to let them sit for a few minutes, and then I'm going to put them on a cooling rack. So as soon as these are done, I'll show you what they look like. All right, guys, the oven timer just went off. Ooh, they look so good. These are going to be so cool. Okay, I could probably put another row. <gasps> Look how they turned out. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I'm going to let those sit for a few minutes, and then I'm going to take them off, and I'm going to put them on a cooling rack, and I'm going to do the rest of them, and then I'm going to do the green ones, and then I will come back and show you all of them when they're done. I finished them. They look so good. And our son took about six of them home and ate two while he was here. They're so good. Now, these are the ones that were just the white cake mix and I put the coloring in them. Don't they look super festive? But because I needed to try it, I made one with the chocolate cake mix. And I have to tell you, it tastes like, look at how, look at how it breaks apart. It tastes like chocolate ice cream. So good. But, mmm. Oh, the chocolate one is so good. Anyway, I have to tell you, what I did was, it calls to cook them for, to bake them for 20 minutes, or 12 minutes. I actually wanted these to be a little less um, moist inside. I wanted them to be a little bit more cookie-like, more like a chocolate chip cookie consistency. So I actually made these for 17 minutes. I added an additional five minutes, and they turned out just perfect. So... I can't wait to finish this cookie. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So there you have it, a three-ingredient awesome cookie. I'm thinking too, like I could have added a little bit of peppermint because the white cake mix just is sweet, right? So I could have added maybe a strawberry here, peppermint in there. I'm thinking if I did this, you could do these, color them orange for Halloween or autumn. You could do different colors. You could even, like, say you have a birthday party and everything's either purple. You could make them purple, and you could put whatever flavoring in you want. But if you used cake mix like a red velvet or a spice cake mix, you could do it with any cake mix, and the cake mix flavoring will be there, too. So there you have it. I hope you guys give it a try. So good. It's the perfect cookie. Super simple. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.